Hello guys, today's project is this trolley brake or cart brake of an old horse drawn cart. Um, I've been asked to make several of these and I gather that uh, the, the brake rod was sort of through this hole and there was a, I think there was a spring to keep tension in the little hole and basically um, it's up when the brake's off and then you, perhaps not that high, but you then push the brake down and it locks. So the brake's locked on. Then you push the other pedal and it releases. So I wasn't quite sure how to make it because this one obviously has been cast. Um, and so someone sort of made one and then had all the bits cast. It's not particularly good on the bottom there. But I wasn't sure what to do, so I started off by actually forging some of the bits. Um, this bit here was the first bit I started. I've actually done I think, four or five of these. Um, and they actually came out quite well. I started off with a bit of inch by half flat and this bit of two by quarter for the pedal. Um, but whilst I was doing them I've had a bit of a rethink. Um, and I'm going to do it another way, so unfortunately these are going in the scrap. So what I've done instead is I broke the whole thing down and I've put it all on this CAD program. Drawn up all the bits um, and I'm going to get them laser cut. That's the bit I've already done. Um, that's sort of the lock bit, and the pedal bit, and the ratchet. Um, I've actually got every single little bit um, broken down into to little pieces and I sent the drawings via email off to our local laser cutters and then a couple of days later because they're pretty quick this box came and as you can see some lovely little bits in I do like laser cutting it's so precise you can get some really fine detail and if you draw it accurately you get exactly what you draw it's beautiful um, there's the bit that I've I'd already forged um, because I'm, I'm thinking that if the client likes it he might want lots more so I'm trying to do it the easiest way uh, and like on this one the ratchet the detail is, is brilliant um, which you may not have got with plasma there's the little thickness of a bit of 3 mil or 8 lugs for the bottom of the brake, the pedal, the uh, bottom of the lock, sorry, the pedal, all the bits. So we've got a box of bits, so we're going to start putting them together and see how we get on. This is the first bit. Um, I've already put, put this through the forge because the original is much thinner at the end, this end here. So I've, I've forged that down to just over eight thickness at the end. Um, more like the original. And I made it smaller on the, the laser cutting so that it, it would come out bigger once I'd forged it. And as you can see I've already welded on these bits because I it's like a counterweight. It has to drop forward to lock. I put a bit of 16 mil up the end here, and then a bit of 3.8 behind it, and then just welded the whole lot up into a big blob. So I've now got to weld the lugs on back on the uh, back edge back here, and then I'll grind it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so I've welded it up and ground it up, and it's actually come out quite nice. It's uh, a bit hit and miss because I've never done this before, so it's it's all you know, I'm doing it as I go along, working it out. But it hasn't come up badly, and I think that will work quite well. So let's get on to the next bit. So next bit, um, weld these 
and pull them thickeners, just bits of uh, eighth or three mil, um, just to weld around the bottom of these ratchets to make them thicker as the original was. I couldn't think of any other way of doing it really. Um, and I think actually it's going to work out quite well. So I'm going to weld those on, one on each side, and see how we get on. And as if by magic, here's one I did earlier. And you can see I've already cleaned it up, welded them right the way around, feed them all out first, obviously. Um, it's still a bit rough, but it's, you know, there's some final cleaning to do. But it's come out pretty well. So the next bit is to put the lever together, which is basically a copy of what I already did originally, the forged one. Um, so I've sort of ground it up, thinned it out a bit towards the top of that uh, arm, basically because the original was. I don't see any reason for it, but I've done it. Um, so yeah, ground it, welded it, ground it back up, and that's that bit. So the next job is to weld the two ratchets to the base plate. Um, not quite sure I'm going to line them up, but we'll give it a go. So here we are, I've welded them up. Uh, this camera. This is a new camera. I'm, I'm, this is the first video I've done with this and I can't quite get the hang of it yet, but I'm trying to get it to focus. But you can basically see I've just welded all the way, or most of the way around the bottom of the brackets. I'm going to clean them up with, firstly with this, the carbide burr and an air tool. Really good bit of kit. Um, makes light work of it and obviously that's for the bits I can't get into with an ordinary grinder. So right, cleaned it all up. Again, it won't quite focus. There you go, I think it's just starting to focus. And it's, again, it's not brilliant but I'm, I'm a bit constricted on time with this job. Um, trying to keep the price sort of reasonable and it's taking me almost three hours to put one of these together with all the, the welding, grinding and all the rest of it. So, you know, it's okay. So here we go, it's all put together. And so after about three hours work, including all the forging and all the rest of it, it seems to work pretty well, pretty much like the original. Releases, locks, locks and releases. I think they'll be quite pleased with that. The only thing I haven't done yet is um, got the coach bolts for here, or for both ends. Um, I'm having a bit of trouble getting them, but I'm sure I'll be able to find some over the weekend somewhere. And that'll just finish it off, nice domed heads in there. As you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty close to the original. I think the client will be quite pleased. Um, so I better get on, I've got about another four to make. So thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.